seriously, everywhere I go, more things keep coming up than God keeps telling me more. Like, I just went to turn over the carts that are, they sit out the empties and they set out the carts at school. And I, uh, I took the cart and I flipped it over because there was water on it. So I wanted to dump it out of the, like, the little divots that are on the cart, the design to get the water off it, you know what I mean? When I flipped it over, there was a bug on the bottom. And when I flipped it back over to the wheels, I saw the bug fell out. I wasn't really trying to knock it off, but at the same time, I didn't want it to stay on the thing because I didn't want it to get in the truck because I didn't want it to eat the wood, but I also didn't want to hurt the bug. So I just like flipped it over, hoping either it would stay there and not get hurt, or if it stayed there, I'd accept that it comes on the truck. And if it didn't stay there, I'd accept that it fell on the ground. But it fell on the ground, and I saw that its leg was stuck in the, the one of the ball bearings of the thing, and it pulled its leg off. And I was sitting there looking at it, and I'm like, oh, buddy, I did not mean to hurt you. And I put my hand over it and said, bless you. If you die, you're going to go to an okay place. And I felt it understand me and say thank you i was scared in the bug frequency how crazy like it turned around and faced me and looked at me i mean that's freaky if you actually realize that you're doing it and you and things are just giving you the signs and actually saying yeah i understand you like when you say bird fly and a bird flies i mean that freaks you out a little bit but anyway, that even what I was going to say because I, was, I had so many things I wanted to say and then I went to flip the thing over and a bug was there and I felt the bug's freaking answer. It was crazy. So then, I, I, when I was inside the, the school, they had a thing, or, or a storm recently in Conneautville and Warren area just over the weekend. And in the area that I deliver, how crazy. Well, there's this place, Rolling Fields, where Dan Alexander, in his comical sense, Rolling Fields used to be a customer of my route, but before I got the route, they quit because the guys weren't doing a good job. And I would do a great job, and I would like them back, but I understand why they don't. Because, you know, you can't expect that much of a difference in work ethic between people. But my work ethic is above and beyond anyone's. Anyone's. I don't care who you are. I will work 24-7, seven days a week if I have to, because I know that it takes what it takes. And I'll do what it takes. I have that kind of work ethic. Most people will say that, but they will break before I will break. I know this in my heart. And then you can challenge me if you want to, but it's just going to put us both through physical pain. And it's just going to put us both through physical torture and, and trying to push yourself for no reason, just to prove something. And there's no reason to prove anything, and God told me that. So, when I went inside, I gave all of the people in the lunchroom a hug, every single person. And one lady was like, and I was like, I'm sorry, when I tell you I love you, I mean, I don't mean to sound funny. And she's like, you know, I understand what you mean. And it feels good because just like with, it's good to see what people did with Rolling Fields because the Rolling Fields is the place, there's a nursing home, and it got the roof and stuff ripped off it by a tornado. And over this weekend, people have come together so much to help. They're still helping. And she said, it renewed my spirit. And I was like, thank you so much for saying that word. That, that actually showed that me coming through here, causing the temperature to be different, may have actually caused a storm, may have caused destruction to a place that has wronged Dan Alexander unintentionally. It just had wronged the, the spirit of the truck. I don't know. The spirit of the route. I don't know. But I know that it almost has some kind of influence with because it was supposed to show a sign of some sort, how people can come together. People can come together. And people should. And they really, when times are hard, they do. But why is it only when times are hard? Okay? That was one of the other things I thought of. I mean, there's so much going on. I don't know how to start and how to stop sometimes. <laughs>